Hey guys, I purchased some uh, scooter battery from Jag 35. Let's see here, I got uh, six in here and two more in here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the BMS work without that little board. So Jag 35 sell that little board you could plug in here to activate the BMS, uh, but they're out of stock. So I'll show you guys how to make the BMS work without the board. All right, the first thing you should do is check the voltage of your battery. So if you look at the top here, uh, this is the positive. And then you see there's some captain tape over here, uh, but there's uh, the negative. And I found that uh, you don't even have to remove that. So you could see uh, with the reflection of light, there's a bunch of goo protecting the board everywhere. Uh, all right, so we're gonna touch here the positive and the negative i got my voltmeter here you could see this battery has 33 volts so it's almost empty in the video that uh, i saw online this kid eric um figure out that if you put a resistor so i have one right here i have my son arduino kit have um, those 1k resistor and that's what it used to make this work and basically if you have your resistor go for the third pin um, in here to the ground so he kind of scraped the this side here uh, all the way and get to the ground and he solder the wire with the resistor all the way to pin 3 to make this work but for reading a bunch of comments uh, there's other people that mention you know, you could just wire pin three to this um, to TP7. So you could see here, it's hard to see it. Let me see if you can zoom in. Um, yeah, there's this little round spot here, which is kind of ground, TP7. This work. So I did the hack over here. So in here, in the shrink wrap here is my resistor, just like this, a 1K resistor. I'm not very good at soldering, but it worked. Um, I soldered a TP7 here, and then I attached it to a wire, um, and then I soldered the third pin here. Um, and I'll put a link to Eric's video of how I did this. Um, and basically, I guess, uh, long story short, I used an X-Acto um, to cut some of the goo around here you got to be careful not to short those pins uh, so i use a little plastic thing to remove the goo uh, on the third pin um, and you can see here um, that goo is kind of removed here all right guys uh i was i'm editing the video and i realized i forgot to mention one very important thing is after the hack in order to activate the bms you have to start charging the battery through that yellow cable. So back to the movie. Uh, so the yellow one is to charge and the red is to connect to your motor normally. So it's the out. So this one, if I take the voltage of this, you'll see about 40 volts um, on the battery. And this is to charge uh, part. Now the black wire that come from here, doesn't matter which one you use. All right, also from safety perspective, um, so I would recommend you take the voltage of the pack first, see if it's a good thing. You know, if it's uh, below 30 volts, you may have some cell that are bad and you may not be able to. Not all BMS board are working, uh, so this hack may not work for everything. Uh, so it did work for my first one. Um, I'll try the other one. The other thing uh, I would advise is before you do the hack, unless you do a switch, turn it off so once you remove that connectivity it should shut off the bms so i guess you could have a little switch or some wire you could connect or disconnect or disconnect it so what i would advise is before you do the hack build your connector so there should be no voltage and then uh, it took me a little bit of time but i was able to you know clean the glue got this metal thing out uh, when you cut those wire you don't want to cut them all in one shot it's a good way to short yourself. Um, so you just go and cut one wire at a time. Should be no problem. And then always check, make sure there's no power coming out uh, before you, um, you know, 
safety first always and then do your connector uh, whatever you're gonna use those are XT60 that I use here so I solder those connector to those wire before put, uh, enabling the power to go out so I'm debating maybe the next one I'll do here I'll uh, made a, a way to turn on and off for the board.